All right, so today we are going to be showcasing the Pegasus 38s after roughly 250 miles. Um, some of us have a little less, some of us have a little more. But um, yeah, we're just going to give you our take through about 250 miles and let you guys know how we like it, how we don't like it. So. For me, the biggest thing that I've noticed has been towards the bottom in the front. Um, this has been pretty typical for most of my Pegasus. Um, the bottoms like just seem to like wear down really fast and the tread just gets like worn down like way more than any other area of the shoe. Um, I notice it a little bit when I run, but it really, it's not that bad. Um, for 250 miles, I can't complain but that is probably the most noticeable thing so far. Yeah, um, I agree. I do think the the tread on the bottoms for the 38s are definitely better than the 37s because I remember I had really bad problems with the 37s on the treads on the bottom, but um, I mean, I'm not a shoe enthusiast or architect, but I mean, these are pretty simple shoes. Like they feel all right. <laughs> <laughs> like I just feel, you know, I feel when I run and I, it feels good. <laughs> I, I have some shin splints right now, but I don't think that's because of the pegs. <laughs> so this is my first time training in pegs. I used to train in the Nike structures, and um, right from the beginning of training them, I noticed that they feel a lot softer than any trainers I'd used in the past, and I think that it's soft, but it also feels pretty responsive, so it works pretty well for tempos, um, and I rotate um, my shoes, um, I have two pairs and I rotate it for easy days and workouts and they seem to be holding up pretty well and I feel like it hasn't really lost any responsiveness as after a, um, almost a full summer of training in them so that's a good sign. Yeah, and um, kind of going off what you said about workouts, um, all of us have done workouts in them um, and obviously they're not going to feel the same as a next percent or a dragonfly but for your everyday easy tempos, easy summer running um, workouts, like it's perfect, it's all you need. And um, I probably wouldn't wear them if I was doing like an all out 200 or something like that. But um, for the longer distance workouts, they're great and um, I haven't had any problems either, so. I'd probably wear these in all out 200 <laughs> rather than like vapor flies or alpha flies. Maybe, maybe. I'll take spikes over these though. These aren't that good. So like another plus that that I personally have like seen with them is like the tongue. Um, if any of you guys have had it in the past, um, this is like a much thicker tongue than 37s, 36s, and, and so forth. Um, at first I thought it was like kind of bulky and in my way, but um, once I got like a couple miles in, um, it kind of just like formed in my foot. And ever since then I've liked it and I haven't really felt the laces on the top of my foot, so that's been really nice. Yeah, some people say your foot gets hot. That's just not true. Your foot doesn't get like, dehydrated or anything. <laughs> so that's not a problem at all. One thing to add on with the tongue is when the shoes do get wet, they do absorb a lot of water and they become a lot heavier. So um, maybe not the best option in the rain or in the mud, but that is like one of the only problems I've had with them. Yeah, from my experiences, like, when they get wet, super heavy, and, like, every step is just, like, you can hear it and feel it, and it's just not a very pleasant experience. So if you have a lighter option or thinner option, possibly go with that. Some people, uh, this may be a con, but uh, especially the white ones, like, you might not be able to see it too well, but especially in the back, like, it's gotten super dirty, like, it's no longer white, it's like a brownish color. Uh, and that's just gonna happen with mostly every shoe, but I guess if you're annoyed with that, don't get white, maybe get... Yeah, this. good thing they offer a lot of colorways like this with the black tongue or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had a little bit of trouble with the little heel counter that extends up the back of your Achilles. Um, it has rubbed up against my heel a little bit and I've gotten blisters a couple times from it. But 
they seem to have healed and not really stayed and I think as I has as the shoe is adjusted to my foot it's become less of a problem we're gonna kind of break down like what we would rate them after 250 miles and if we'd suggest it to uh, people so first with looks I would rate this like an 8.7 out of 10. I think I like the two the two tone colors. I don't know if that's what it's called, but um, feel. I think it feels pretty good. I think it feels better than the 37. So I'd I'd rate that like a an 8.0. Eight. I think that's a fair that's a fair score. And then I mean, what else needs to be rated? How many things are you rate? Rate? <laughs> So what's the average? What do I rate? Like an 8.35. 8.35, that's my rating. <laughs> All right, for me, I like the responsiveness a lot. I like how soft it feels, and it seems to not be wearing down that quickly. So I also like the looks, so I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 overall. Solid. And then for me, um, mine have like kind of worn down pretty quick. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a surface. I don't know if it's all the concrete I've been running on this summer. But um, for me, that's that's why it's not gonna be a ten. But I I give it like a nine one. Um, yeah, it's just a nine one. That's what I feel. I I've, I've worn pegs since like sixth grade, and I always love them. So yeah. So it's a eight high overall. Yeah, high eight overall. Yeah, very solid shoe. Probably like an eight six or an eight seven. Very solid. All right. Um, I don't know when we'll be back with the video, but we will be back. Soon. <laughs>